Right, I didn't expect any more transfer news to happen. I've been down the quayside with the little one. You know, we've brought in Fabian Shaw and now Matt Sells has left. I didn't expect this one to go through today. I thought it would be Monday, to be honest with you. But we'll get up a statement of what the Toon have said. And we'll also have a little look at what Matt Sells said as well. So we'll get both of those on screen. Let's begin with what the Toon said. I'm not reading all. I'm just reading out the first couple of paragraphs. Goalkeeper Matt Sells has completed a permanent move to French side Strasbourg. The 26-year-old joins the league on outfit for undisclosed fate after two years spell at St. James' Park. Sells initially joined the Magpies from Ghent in June 2016, going on to make a total of 14 appearances, which all come in his first season at the club. Uh, so, yes, we know he played in the same patch friendly. Uh, we knew that Newcastle have got five goalkeepers. I'm still expecting one of them to leave, possibly Freddie Woodman on loan. But Matt Sells has actually spoken about his move. That it, it, is ha it has happened fairly quickly. He's turned around and said, The discussions I had with the leaders, there are some nice things to do in this club. It's also a big city. It's as attractive as Brussels. Racing made an effort to recruit me. I will give the maximum here. It's a great challenge. And then he went on to say about the league. He said, It's a good race, a difficult championship with big teams it makes what you want so well I don't think it's a very strong league it's possibly the fifth biggest in Europe but if you take away Paris and Lyon Monaco perhaps it's a pretty, pretty much weak league and uh, will be tested at Strasbourg but you know you need to go on first play first team football you know uh, the French league have now got a new TV a revenue coming in quite no one yeah, as to what the Premier League is but they're getting a split of over a billion uh, TV right so it's good that you know it's getting distributed across the leagues for them but however and like couldn't afford him it's as simple as that they could not afford his wages so he's luckily for us we've got him off his wage bill because he's got another, well he did have another three year left on his on his deal for Newcastle and effectively if we didn't get rid of him permanently we could have loaned him out again which ideally we didn't want because let's face it he hasn't been superb I'm not going to sit here stand here sorry and start slagging off Matt Sells that's not what we do here at Newcastle fans team we're always trying to support players whether they're coming in or out and we're going to see the try to mean positive the positive are that he's got a he's got to move away from the club that he wants Newcastle will get some money back it's believed to be it is undisclosed fee but it's somewhere around about the four million mark so effectively we've got the Bravka money back for that you know, three years left on his contract, he would have been sitting around doing nothing. He's going to go and play first-team football for his career. It's good. It's also good for Newcastle because of get him off the wages. As I touch upon, it pays for the Dubravka deal already. And now it leaves Woodman, Darlow, Elliot and Dubravka. Like I say, one of them will probably go out on loan. Probably Woodman and the other three goalkeepers will compete for the number one jersey. However, that's good for Newcastle, you know, because we've got him off the books. Yes, he hasn't taken to Kenley. Fans have targeted, which I don't like on Twitter. He deleted his Twitter account after, I think it was, it, was one of the, it might have been the whole game. It was one of the games where he didn't do particularly well. And he hasn't hit the heights, let's be honest. He's been pretty poor. He looks very nervous in the Premier League. Can't really catch a ball. But it's a good thing, you know, we've got, um, you, you know, he was brought in and he was recommended by Rafa. So you could say it's a poor signing by Rafa Benitez. It is. It is that. But, you know, good luck to him. We've got a much better goalkeeper on Martin Dubravka now. Elliot and Darlow will probably compete for the number two spot as well. But the best of luck to Matt Sells. It's money in the door. Uh, if the deal goes through for the Japanese striker, Yoshimino Mutu, uh, if I said that right, it's actually Will who's going to be covering that. He's jumped up and said he wants to do a video, which is good, which we we'll always want the other presenters to do up their own videos as well but if that goes through officially in the next 24 hours it'll be will who'll be bringing you that as well thanks for watching bye bye